back in Twitch and back with our ongoing series here. The Terran Alliance in Galactic Civilization 3. I've been having a lot of fun with this little playthrough that we started. Let's just see how it goes. We are playing as Earth, the Terran Alliance. And let me zoom out a little bit here. This is a massive galaxy, and you can see this is the uh, Sol system that we've started off in. We've still got we've still got Mars here that we need to colonize, and we got a couple of other planets that we can't do anything with yet. There's Saturn, there's Jupiter, and as we zoom out, we can see here that we have some other planets in our first episode that we did colonize. Here's a planet named Eden. It's a very very lush planet. We've uh, got the planet Thebes here that we have a colony on. We've got a few other colonies that we established. Here's Valhalla. And way over here is Olympia that we have established. And uh, yeah, we got a couple of more down here that we that we started later in the in our, that first episode. We've got Azatlan. I think that's how you say that uh and of course han which is our chinese colony all right we've got a lot of ships moving around we've got constructors moving to go build mining bases we've got uh what is this right here this is a colony ship that's headed somewhere i forget where where are you headed uh not sure why how he ended up way over there not sure how that happened. He may have been on his way somewhere. Oh, that's right. Am I? Where am I bringing him? I've got. Oh, I'm bringing him over. No, I'm not bringing him over there. I think he must be coming to colonize this planet right here, Briggs One, which is next door to Thebes. I think that's where I had him, where he was going to head to to colonize. But and we've got a lot of other planets that we have discovered that require. Uh, extreme colonization technology which we haven't developed yet that's a corrosive world it i think we can i think we can colonize that planet and we've got a lot of planets and solar systems up here that have worlds that we can colonize but we've just got to get some colony ships built we're running low on population and we've got other civilizations like these guys right here that are moving in. And I know we've got another some more civilizations over on this side over here that are also expanding. And if I don't hurry up and get some of these planets colonized, they're going to they're going to get to them before I can. So I think that really needs to be what we work on this episode is getting some more colonies, getting some more colony ships up and running. All right, we've got a trade offer on the table. Let's see what we've got here. He wants me to give him open borders, a lot of my a lot of my exotic material for only 1600 in credit in money. And one epithius pollen. Uh no, we're not accepting that, pal. Uh let's talk about something else. We would like to assure you of our continuing friendship. Yes. You're going to have to make a better trade than that, dude. I'm not giving you that much of my exotic material that I've painstakingly sent out to mine. Which reminds me, I've got some... What is that right there? What is that? It's not telling me what that is for some reason. Now that's Durantium. I think that's Pr Promethean. I don't remember that being there last turn. I don't remember that being there. And I don't remember my colony ship being way down here. There's a couple of things that have got me just a little bit puzzled. But we're going to continue going. I think we were at the end of our turn. So let's finish our, our latest turn here. And I I need to send you up here to this planet. Yeah, go on and colonize that planet, please. <clears throat> and we have just built, we 
at the end of our first episode, we built this uh, hyper lane here. So we do have one hyper lane that will help us with our travel. Here's my little exploration ship. He has discovered a class 10 planet. Very nice, very nice. Come on over here and explore this solar system, please. Okay, let me zoom out here and finish my turn. Okay, we're not going to... We He made it to that planet to colonize, but I don't think I like that name. So what is one of our civil Earth human civilizations that we could name this planet after? Let's see, what civilization have I not touched on yet? Oh, uh, the Celts. Why don't we name this Celtica? Haven't done a European civilization in a while. Okay, Celtica has issues with thunderstorms. This planet is going through a period of heavy thunderstorm activity. This is affecting some ancient ruins near your colony, energizing what was thought to be inert stone, revealing it to be a powerful alien artifact capable of channeling tremendous energy. Sometimes this energy is channeled into the bodies of anyone standing nearby with predictively messy consequences. Studying these ruins could provide incredible, valuable, although also dangerous, to anyone who has to do it. What are your orders? If I go benevolent, I get some research benefits. Ooh, if I go malevolent, I, I get the research and I get... No, it, it hurts my approval, though. Uh, if I go pragmatic, it's going to hurt my manufacturing a little bit, but I get a big research boost. I'm going to go with pragmatic. Um, I, need, I need research right now and some pragmatic points. What have we got up here? Kil Ooh, Kiln of Worlds. Absolutely. And I have, uh, yeah, that that's, we definitely want to get to working on that. This con this converts a dead planet, a completely dead planet into, uh, gives you the ability to build an outpost on a dead planet. So that we absolutely want. That makes this planet one of our most important planets that we have in our empire right here. But in the meantime, that's going to take 38. I don't need that right now. Because I can't even colonize the available planets that I have to colonize right now. So I don't really have to have this right now. But we'll just let it cook on the back burner. Let's go ahead and get a factory. Let's move the factory to the top. Let's do a space elevator. That's probably going to be enough for right now. And then I'm, I'm going to need a market center for sure. Get that market center. Get that market center moved up. Okay, we'll let them cook on all that for a little while. Okay, where is Celtica? Where? I lost track of where my colony ship was. Where was that at? Is this you up here? No, that's Sumer. Valhalla, Olympia. Well, where is this planet that we just colonized? I'm to here it is, way down here. Okay. But yeah, it's way down here. I'm going to have to really protect that planet. That's an important planet right there. All right, we have an ideology issue coming up here. A pragmatic ideology choice. What can we do here? Exporters grants a free freighter and trade license. No one will declare war on us for the next 50 turns. Oh, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. Our shipyards operate at 100% at twice the distance from your colonies. I don't understand what that means. 
allows the building of a preparedness centers. Yes, let's go ahead and do this this year. I do want to build uh, preparedness centers. Then we'll get. I've already got the three constructors, so that's already been done. Okay. I do want to be able to build preparedness centers, though. All right, and we have a new citizen. Um, I've got plenty of administrative capacity. What I need right now is money. So let's, what does an entrepreneur do for us? It reduces our economy by 3% or he can be settled on a colony and boost its economy by 30%. Let's train an entrepreneur. And I guess I need to go ahead and put her on earth right now. That should help our economy. She's an entrepreneur. Let's transfer her to Earth and go ahead and just boost Earth's economy. See if that doesn't help us a little bit. That boosted our weekly income pretty good. Okay, we've got an idle college. We're not doing anything on Eden right now. Uh, Helios Ore. Go ahead and get started on the Helios Ore. Doing research there. I think I need a market here. Let's do a market center. Let's move that market center up a little bit. And we can work on one of these farms too. That'll be fine. I don't really need food right now but i will soon okay that's everything i can do right now i've got to get colony ships built let me go through my what are we building here we're building a colony ship there it's going to take 17 turns building a freighter there we've got six turns for a colony ship there we're building a freighter there. What are we building back on Earth? Earth is working on a constructor. Okay, let's finish this turn. What class planet is that right there? That's a... I don't know why when I get over here to the left side of the map it does not give me any information when I click on something that's annoying very annoying but it looks like a very good class planet I probably need to send a colony ship to it yeah that's a class 10 this looks like it would be class 10 as well that probably needs to be our next, because I know there's got to be a civilization right here. Probably closer, there's probably more of a civilization here than there is up here. So I can still wait, I think, a little bit on these colonies. So let me go ahead and get, this will be my next, my next priority right here. Okay, where's our idle ship? We've got, ooh, what is this right here? That's a... Class 26 planet. Oh my god. We've got to get that planet. we got to get there before he does. That is a perfect planet. Perfect. Oh man. How? We demand that you remove it at once. Yeah, that's that thu that's that okay, I'm I will destroy it. I was afraid that might provoke them. I should not have built that right there. Okay, I went ahead and destroyed it. I don't I'm not ready to provoke a war yet. I have no warships at all. I have nothing. No warships at all. 
Okay, what's my population on Earth? 1.7. I cannot build a... Tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and build a... We're going to go ahead and build a colony ship. Three turns. We can draw colonists from these other planets as well, which I think we'll have enough. I've got to get this planet. Where is it at? It's way over there. I've got to get it. I don't have anything. I can't blockade it. I don't have anything over there to blockade it with. I don't have enough ships to blockade it. Okay, you head up here and mine that uh, Promethean, please. Ah, that Promethean has caught me by surprise. That was not there before. I don't know how that spawned in there like that. I don't remember that being there. We do have some Durantium there, so I can go mine that Durantium. No habitable planets here. Come on down to this next planet, please. You keep an eye on that planet. We've got to get to that planet before he does. I know he's already discovered it, so he's got to have a colony ship heading that way. He's got to. Briggs. No, we don't want to call this planet Briggs. Let's see, what is one of our ancient civilizations on Earth that we can go with here? We haven't done a Russian yet. What would be a good... Maybe... Muscova? How about that? This will be our Russian colony. Leaking seals. Uh-oh. A sudden increase in storm activity on this planet has dramatically increased the weathering of the seals on your colony buildings. A new generation of self-healing seals will help minimize the damage, but replacing them all could be pretty expensive. Uh, t -t 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 uh, I don't want to hurt manufacturing. I guess I better go with pragmatic here. Uh, I don't need to lose any approval. I better just go with benevolent. I can't, I can't afford to lose any approval right now. We got Precursor Archive here. Let's just go ahead and get that cooking on the back burner while we're doing other stuff. Uh, I think we definitely want to go ahead and do a factory. And then I need that market center next. Move those up ahead of the Precursor Activities Archive study. Okay, that'll give them some stuff to work on there. Okay, and he's going to help out with that shipyard, so that should help us with the shipyard there. What are What is your population? 2.1? Oh, I can definitely build a colony ship here now. Yeah, let's work on a colony. Ooh. Yeah, let's keep working on colony ships there. Can't afford to rush that. I want you to stay right where you are and keep an eye on that planet, please. That one. Oh, man. Now, here we go. Here's our colony ship at Earth. I don't need that many. Let's just get one. That'll be fine. There it is. Oh, I wish I had a... Um, 
I hope he can get there before anybody else can. Please hurry. I really need a um, a hyper lane. I wish I had a hyper lane going that direction. I tell you what, it's almost worth attacking somebody. But I don't have any warships over there. Where is that warship, by the way? My warship is way off over here on the other side of the galaxy. The only ship I have that has any weapons right now. If they get that planet ahead of me, I'm going to be so disappointed. All right, let's check up on our research. Xeno Economics. Uh, hmm. Artifacts, studies, kinetic weapons. Let's work on, on beam uh, weapons here. Tell you what, let's work on shield systems instead. I think we've already got a, a weapon that we can fire. We, don't, we need to get some protection for our ships. Which reminds me, let me check and see what kind of little warship that I can build. What little weapons do I have available? Do I have any weapons? I've got a beam ship that I can build. A Star Eagle. Doesn't look too bad. And a Battle Axe. I can build a Battle Axe. The Star Eagle may be my better bet. It's a little bit less expensive. I may need to build a couple of those just to be safe. Once I get this colony done. Once I get that colony done. Yeah, let's go ahead and build a Star Eagle. I think that'll help me feel just a little bit better. You stay where you are. Keep an eye on that planet. Okay, Valhalla can do some stuff here. Do I have a market here yet? I don't have a market yet. Let's build build a market center. <clears throat> Might go ahead and do the space elevator too. Give them some stuff to work on. And that will finish our turn. Okay. Ooh. Stay where you are. Keep an eye on that planet for me. Everybody else is still moving. Going where they want to go. That's a class 13. Yeah, we definitely want that planet as well. Okay, let's just burn through some turns here and get everybody moving. Okay, there's our colony ship right there, a population of one, you head straight over there as quickly as you can get there, pal. Ah, we've got an artifact here, and we found some more durantium, wow. Okay, this is a manufacturing relic, okay, let's send a constructor that direction. Don't think there's any planets on this world. No habitable planets. Come on over here to this system there and see what we have there. 
I have found so much Durantium. And that's good, though. That is very good. You keep an eye on that planet for me. Valhalla, let me check your population. He cannot afford to build any col any colony ships right now. Population is not high enough. Go ahead and build me a constructor, please. That will be our turn. I've got to keep an eye on this colony ship, buddy. You've got to move. You've got to move faster. Seriously need you to get on over there. I don't see anything on the scope right now, but that, that could change very quickly. Stay where you are. We are new to trade. All things within our refuge are shared. But we believe to, this to be a fair exchange. They want me to give them some Durantium and Monsatium. And some money. All my money. And they'll give me open borders. No, I'm not ready to make that kind of deal. But let's talk about something else. That's all. Well, I'm not, not ready to do that yet. I need this colony ship to move. It's got a long way to go. I need that ship to get there. All right, so you are near the Promethean. Go ahead and construct a star base. We're going to do a mining ring. Ah, we can do mining barracks now. I need to go around to all of the other mining facilities and upgrade them with mining barracks. It's going to cost me 50 I'll do one more, then I'll wait till next turn to, to do some more mining barracks, okay? Our market centers are starting to pay off. I think our economy is starting to pick up just a little bit. Our next idle ship, okay. He's on his way to the Thulium, but I want you to swing by that planet there first. Actually, there's some Durantium right there. Yeah, that's where the other guy's headed. Okay, we got idle ship. Keep an eye on that planet for me. Okay, Earth. Earth can do another colony ship, I believe. Do another colony ship. Let's send you over here. Ah, it's outside of his range. He can't go that far. Okay, well then just come down here to Han and help protect Han then. Come on down the hyper lane. We've got another trade offer. He wants me to give him some Thulian and some Monsatium. That's a pretty good little bit of money I'm, and open borders. Open borders. I do need some more money. That will definitely help me out there. Oh, now he's changing his deal. Okay, we'll find the end. Alright, that's all. Okay, we got a lot going on. Everybody keep moving. A lot of ships moving around. Mm 
no habitable planets there. Okay, come on down here and and mine that uh, durantium that's right there. No habitable planets in that star system. Swing by here. Uh oh. Hold on a minute. Close that. Sorry about that. What is that right there? Can't tell. It's a low it's a low quality planet though, so I'm not that interested in Oh, there he is, right there. Here, there he comes. Do you have any weapons on you? Can I upgrade no, I don't have time. We're fixing to lose that planet. Oh, Oh, that is so, that is so annoying right there. Man. Golly, that's annoying. That is annoying. That's really, that's really annoying me right there. I really, really wanted that planet. Seriously wanted that planet. If I'd have had weapons on that ship, I would have attacked him and blown his colony ship up. That, that planet right there would have been worth going to war over. I mean, I'm almost tempted to, <laughs> to cheat and go back a turn or two and convert that ship. That's what I should have done. If I'd have been thinking, I would have converted that ship. And equipped it with some weapons. Uh, but I can't do that now. I'm not going to cheat. I'm not going to cheat. The AI outplayed me there. They outplayed me fair and square. No habitable planets there. Yeah, let's load it with one. Load that one with one as well. Hey, you. Come on over there. Starting to get into their territory there. Ay, ay, ay. All right, Earth. Um, I guess we better start doing some more Star Eagles here. I mean, he got there just right ahead of me, too. Just right ahead of me. Colony ship, just hang loose till I know what to do with you. No habitable planets there. He's on his way to explore that. He's on his way down there. You head over there then. We've got this colony ship. Looks like a high class planet. That's a class 10. Okay. Just head over there then. We'll go this way. We were almost halfway to that perfect planet. Oh, that just breaks my heart. Breaks my heart. We've got a class eight down there. This is in 
What is this? That's an extreme world. We can't colonize that yet. So just come on down here to this class 8 planet, please. Colonize it. Unless something better pops up along the way. Stay where you are for now. None of these planets over here, if they don't have any planets over here, I'm going to send him up this direction. All right, you go ahead and build a star base. We're going to do a mining ring, mining barracks. And a star base defense system. He is right at the edge of our influence, so we should be able to keep that keep that uh, mining facility there. I may I may go down there and send an influence star base as well. Oh, that breaks my heart. Yeah, we're headed to there. Yeah, that's a class 8 planet. There's another class 10 right there. Yeah, that's a class. And there's a class 10. Oh, that's a class 12. We definitely want to get that one then. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and construct a hypergate. Connect it to the stall hyper hyper gate. Now we've got two hyper lanes heading off from from Earth, two different directions. Earth is going to be kind kind of become our hub, that everything's going to spoke off of. But we've got we're going to have some planets that are reasonably close to that hyper lane that they can jump on that hyper lane. And we've got a few planets over here that are close to this hyperlane that can use it, so. These planets down here, they don't have their hyperlane yet. We're going to have to get them one here eventually. We're just still exploring, still spreading out. Oh, we've got a new citizen. Uh, I'm doing good on administrative points right now. I don't need a farmer. Probably, I may need a celebrity. I may need a celebrity. Or a scientist. I need either a celebrity or a scientist. What does a celebrity do for me? It boosts our morale by three, or I can sell him on a colony and boost the morale there by 30. Let me go ahead and get a celebrity. She looked she look like a celebrity. Which one of our colonies needs morale the most? Not Earth. Earth is doing fine. They could use some morale. Thieves is pretty low. Sumer is very low. Sumer is incredibly low. We need a... Can I do an entertainment center here? I thought I had researched an entertainment center. How have I not researched that yet? Maybe if we give them a farm, it may help. We definitely want administrative points as well. Their approval is way low. I, I might better send her to Sumer. It, it's not going to help much. 
You send her to Sumer. Uh, let's go back to the citizen here. Our celebrity. Let's transfer her. Sumer. Didn't help much at all. Maybe it'll kick in next turn. Okay, stay where you are for the time being. Do we have no planets there? Don't move until I know where to send you to. Okay, Eden. Eden, just do another constructor for me, please. Okay, we do have a colony ship, and they have... Oh, that's a freighter. That's a freighter, not a colony ship. Okay. Well, let's send this freighter. Let's send them off exploring. I know that we've got some, some planets over here, so let's just let them go explore. And then when they get to the furthest planet away, we will let them set up a trade route. Mutual trade continues to strengthen our relationship. We will take your words into consideration. Very good. All right, we got our shield systems. Interstellar trade, artifact studies. Allows construction of carrier modules. I'm not ready for that yet. Better go ahead and do some Xeno adaptation. It's going to take nine turns, but... We got to get it. We got to get the ability to start uh, uh, colonizing some of these extreme planets because that's pretty much all we're fixing to be left with. Okay, you stay where you are and wait. Everybody continues to move. I want to see if there's any more planets over here before I move you away. Okay, there they are down there. They are down there. Continue to explore their space, please. Wait where you are. So this offer, you think this offer is beneficial to me, where I give you antimatter, thulium, monsadium, open borders. I give you all these exotic materials, and all you give me is 175. No, I don't think that's very beneficial to me at all. That's not beneficial to me at all, pal.
Okay, we're about to get to this planet down here. And he's got a long way to go, but he's on his way to, to this Class 10 planet. I have no idea who's over here. I know there's got to be somebody over there, though. I have not discovered them yet. <clears throat> no habitable planets there. Okay, I've done about all I can do with this constructor. Head on up here to this thulium and let's mine the thulium, please. Before it comes under somebody else's zone of control. There's more durantium there. I've got some stuff. I need to get some constructors over here. All right, the Scout. A mysterious single occupant craft has appeared in orbit around our home world. Our ships quickly surrounded the intruder, who explained that she's a Scout from a peaceful but secretive race from the far side of the galaxy. In exchange for her release and the provision of supplies to repair her sensor device, she offers you samples of the advanced sensor technology her people have. Ooh. I can add 10% to the sensor power of all of my ships, or I can get 25% sensor power. I'll go with the 25. Let's go with the pragmatic. I mean, I could get a scout ship with Malevolent, but I, I'll, I would rather just improve all of my scout ships. I do need to get a Malevolent choice here soon. Idle ship. There's that colony ship. I'm just going to leave him where he is for now. Earth... I need another constructor. Go ahead and build me another constructor. I'm about to run out of administrative points here. Head on down to Celtica and garrison Celtica, please. Any habitable planets here? No, none at all. Move on up there. Where's he going with that colony ship? Where are you going with that colony ship? Ah, right here. That's a class 9 planet. That's got to be where he's headed. I could get there before him and head him off. Is that what I want to do? Or do I want to go for this class 8? It's got Arno, it's got an Arno Halo artifact. That one doesn't have artifacts. Head that way. Let's see if we can we can get there before he before he gets there. Keep an eye on that. I really hope he, they can find something up here. Move up this direction, please. Olympia. What is your population, Olympia? Can you support a... No, not really. They can't support another a colony ship right now. 
Just build me an explorer, please. We'll we'll use you to to study some anomalies. Okay, freighter, we're going to use you to explore with, and then eventually we'll set up a trade route with you. Valhalla, let's check his population. He can't. He can't afford to do any colony ships either. Okay, so we've got a constructor there. Is that a manufacturing relic? I'll get that next. Right now, I want you to come over here and mine that Durantium. I think the Durantium's more immediately valuable to us. Upgrade some mining barracks there. Who else can we get you some mining barracks? I think I can afford one more mining barracks. Have I already upgraded you? Yeah, I've already upgraded you. What about you? Yeah, you've been upgraded. Okay. Valhalla. Let's see. Man, I'm about to run out of administrative capacity here. Okay, go ahead and give me one more constructor, please. That's going to be it for this turn. Leno Ladir? No, we're not naming it that. What would be one of our ancient civilizations that we can go with here? Uh, let's see. What part of the world have I not thought about? India. What would be a good... What would be a good Indian name? Let me, let me look up something here. Let's see, some Indian cities. Uh, all right, let's call this Agra. How about that? Yeah, we'll call it Agra. Uh-oh, we've found some the Terran resistance. I wonder if these guys are the human crusaders that the other people were talking about. Together, I'm sure we can build a better galaxy. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Leftover robots. This planet was once the home of a fairly advanced alien species that created some extremely long-lasted AI systems. I think we've already seen this one. If I go benevolent, it gives me a, a boost to my research and influence. If I go malevolent, it gives me some tourism. It gives me a tourism boost. And I haven't been able to do malevolent in a while. So we're going to go with malevolent here. Uh, awesome. This is a pretty good looking planet right here. What does this buff do for us? Plus one to research. Plus three to construction. Let's build a factory there. Probably want to build a factory here, too. But I want a, a market center after that. And then I'm going to want a shipyard here. Okay, so there's Agra right there. That's going to be one of our good, good colonies right there. Very good colony. And he's relatively close to a hyperlane. We'll get another hyperlane going his way eventually.
I tell you, I really, I don't want to take a chance on colonizing this planet and then him coming in here and colonizing this one that's closer to me. I may have to just go ahead and, and get the one closest to me. and just That one's really close to his other planet anyway, and we're going to have some culture issues. I probably had best just go ahead and cut my losses and go for that planet right there. No habitable planets in that system. Come on out to this star system and check it out. Terran Alliance, we see you building up forces outside our doorstep. You should stop it. Well, I don't even know where your doorstep is. Where are you? Nothing to see here. Where are you at? They must be they must be over here somewhere. I don't see any of their ships though. I think their ships are a turquoise color or something like that if I if I remember correctly. All right, I'm going to let you go ahead and move on. I'm not going to worry about that planet. He's fixing to colonize that planet. There's nothing I can do about it. That's a pretty good planet, but Looks like he's going to get it. That's fine. We're just going to have to make do with what we have here. We're starting to get hemmed in a little bit. Anything here? Nothing there. We've got one planet left over here to check up on. Then I'm going to have to do something with this co this idle colony ship right here. Incoming message. A new race called the Brainiac have come out of hiding. They seem to be very gifted researchers and willing to trade for these texts. However, we have also noticed that their military is absolutely pathetic. Our advisors suspect that they will not stay independent in this dangerous galaxy without help. We must befriend them. That gives us benevolence. sure they would be willing to trade some of their technologies for our protection. I better go with that. Or we could get their planet. But I don't know how far away they are. I sure could use 30 malevolent points though. I'm going to go pragmatic because I don't really know what the malevolent choice is going to give me. I don't need a planet off in the middle of enemy territory. And I don't need to be going to war with anybody right now. I'm not ready for that. Not nearly about ready for that. Okay, we've got an idle shipyard here on Earth. And let me check my population on Earth. Earth's population is just pathetic. He has a decent population. I think I can squeak out a colony ship here. Another colony ship. This is going to take my last administrative capacity, though. Okay, I've got to wait for a citizen. I've got to get an administrator citizen. Or get some of the administrative centers built. Okay, you head... Um, head up here to this Durantium, please. Let's mine that Durantium. No habitable planets up there either. Okay. Colony ship, you've got to start heading this way. 
I need you to go all the way over here to this class 12 planet. It's going to take you a long time to get there, I know. But start moving that direction. Got an ideology coming up. A pragmatic. Already done that. We've already done that. We get a free freighter. No one will declare war on us for the next 50 turns. <clears throat> I'm going to save that. I'm going to save it. Anyone at war with us receives a 25% penalty to approval. Okay, I'll take that. Take that. All right. Just can you exploring? I need to get some administrative points. It shouldn't be a few more turns I should get a citizen. But I'll be able to be able to get an administrator at that point, I hope. Everybody is still moving. Everybody's busy. We're about to colonize this planet. Let's go ahead and move him on in. Man, compared to these other civilizations, we are so weak right now. They're all like two or three times more powerful than we are. We're in really bad shape right now. And we're just really in a bad spot, too. We're just kind of in the middle of the... Toward the middle of the galaxy. Get on in there. Okay, we're not going to call this... Algol 3, what are we going to name this planet here? Let's see, what's a good civilization that we haven't talked about yet? Um, how about Native American? Uh, let's see. What was one, some of the ancient, older, Native American cities? Cahokia sprawled over five square miles. Was one of the larger. Yeah, we'll cut. We'll go with that. Anybody curious about that can look it up on YouTube. But I think that was one of the uh, cities and settlements that uh, Hernando de Soto probably came across when he and the Spanish trekked across uh, the southeastern North America. Very sprawling, large area. Okay, we've got earthquakes on this planet. In the last year, this planet has become much more tectonically active. Um, with regular earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, on the plus side, this is, this is bringing a lot of valuable minerals up to the surface where it will be far easier to extract. On the downside, a lot of people are being killed by lava. All right, so our engineers think they can do something. Do I want to go? I don't want to spend 100 credits for repairs. Huh. There's really no difference between the pragmatic and the malevolent, except you get pragmatic points or malevolent points. 
So I guess I better just go with pragmatic. Or benevolent will give me. That's just going to cost me money. I, uh, I do get plus 10% economy in manufacturing, even though it's going to hurt population growth. Let's go with pragmatic. We'll go pragmatic here. We've got an influence boost and a tourism boost. All right, fine. Let's do our factory. Let's do what we normally do here. The factory, the space elevator, and the market center to start us off with. And then we'll do a shipyard. Okay. No, no. Actually, let's let's not do the shipyard. We're going to probably do a shipyard out of Celtica. Yeah, we'll do a shipyard out of Celtica, and they'll be able to just support that shipyard. So let's cancel that. Let's go to Celtica here. Celtica will do the shipyard. Yeah. Okay. Uh. We do have an idle shipyard. I have no administrative points, though. No administrative points whatsoever. This is Sumer. Sumer build me a freighter. It's going to take you a while to build it, but you can't do anything else, so that's fine. All right, we're starting to get hemmed in here. We've gotten hemmed in over on the east side. We're beginning to get hemmed in on the south, and I still don't know what's over here. We're about to start getting hemmed in over there. It looks like this is going to be the extent of our of the Terran Alliance here. But we're still, we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. We've just got to get more colony ships out. We need our population to grow and get these colony ships built. Nothing there. Come on down and all right, you're ready to build that thulium mine. Finally. Struck star base. Let's do a mining ring. Go ahead and do some perimeter scanners as well. An unknown civilization has built the Temple of Despair. That's got to be the Dringians. I think it's the Dringians who build Temples of Despair. Oh no. Your planets are ripe for conquest. Even now, my military advisors are urging me to take action. Oh goodness. That's not good. Okay, I better investigate him and see what he has. Um... Uh, Let's look and see what his... Let me see what kind of ships he has here. That's a dangerous ship. I don't see what he's special. Looks like he's got missiles there. Missiles. He's got a little bit of everything. There's not like one thing that he specializes in. Mainly his attack seems to be missiles though. So I need to make sure and give myself some missile defense. The ships that he's building himself, they seem to... No, that's got energy weapons. He's got a Corvette? Really? He's already up to medium hull? That's terrible. He's got three Corvettes. I can't, build, I can't beat Corvettes. Four Cor... Five Corvettes. Okay, he's got missile attack and he's got energy attack. So I need shields and I need point defense. 
energy attack and missile attack is what he has. That's what I need to start. Oh, yeah, yeah. I better make friends with him somehow. How about if I just offer you some money, pal? How about if I give you a hundred credits? And some uh, Durantium. I'll give you three Durantium. See if that makes you a little more friendly to me. Yeah, he's completely neutral to me right now. I want to at least keep him there. All right, let's... I know I need... Uh, I know I need some shields. And I need point defense. Let's work on point defense. And I need more administrators big time. Things are starting to get a little tight. Get a little tight here. Okay, that colony ship is on his way. Finish our turn. If he starts attacking me with those Corvettes, he's going to wipe me out. I'm not going to have anything that can stop him. And I have not been devoting any money to warships, really, at this point in time. Oh my goodness, look at these planets down here. They're extreme planets, though. That's a radioactive world. That's a frozen world. Well, they're good. That's a... What is that right there? That's a class 18 perfect planet right there. But it requires atmospheric cleansing. Golly. I just can't. Keep exploring, man. Keep exploring. Yeah, he's headed to this Class 9 planet. An unknown civilization has built the antimatter power plant galactic achievement. Oh, man. Everybody's just moving along, man. The Iconian Refuge would like to mark our friendship with some credits. Thank you. I'll take those. Thank you very much. Okay. Shipyard idle on Earth. I have no administrative points. All right, let's start building. All I can build is a Star Eagle or a Battle Axe right now. Let's just do the Star Eagles right now. Let's do some Star Eagles. Just to give us something. There's a colony ship. Colony ship, head up this way. Head up that way, please. Cannot eject. Unreserved colony population is less than the minimum ship load. Where was that at?
So somebody just built a colony ship, but they didn't have enough population for it. It was right here. He's got 1.5 population. They've only got 1.2 population. So we don't have enough population there to eject this colony ship. Okay. I have to remember that's there. As soon as their population grows, we should be able to eject that. Go ahead and launch that colony ship. Oh, we've got our new citizen finally. Thank you. I need administrate. I need an administrator. That gives me five administrative points up here that I can at least build constructors with or more colony ships if I have any planets with enough with enough population. Got Thebes here. Thebes build me. Huh. It'll take you a long time to build a Star Eagle. A tiny hole. That's a small hole. Just build a freighter. The most productive thing you can do right now is build me a freighter. Everybody's moving. What have you found here? There's nothing there. Keep on coming around. Keep exploring, please. Okay, we got point defenses going, so we can at least get some rudimentary defenses against missiles. Uh, life support gives, increases our ship range. Not ready for that yet. Not ready for armor. I haven't seen anybody with any gun weapons yet. We can do a Xeno factory. Let's work on beam weapons. I guess I need to see what his defenses are. Will he talk to me again? I can't do any trade with him. Let's talk about something else. We'd like to assure you of our continuing friendship. Yes, please. Please do that. I can't look at his ships right now. But next time I, I trade with him, maybe I'll be able to look at his ships. <clears throat> Shipyard Idol, Valhalla. What do we want here? A colony? Do we want a constructor? Let's do another constructor. We've got some administrative points. Let's go ahead and use them. We may do an architect, another architect next. And get us uh, some, get us a hyperlane coming up this way, maybe. Okay, there's our latest constructor. I want you to come over here and mine this artifact. It's a manufacturing relic. So let's get some manufacturing perks going on here. He is on his way to the Durantium right there, so that's good. Everybody else is moving, everybody else is working on something, so let's finish our turn here. We are so militarily weak right now. I am at anybody's mercy. If somebody wanted to attack me, I would be completely at their mercy right now.
There are a lot of anomalies all around, though, for Captain Kirk and Captain Picard to go explore. So hopefully we're getting some benefits from those. Keep looking around, please. There's our freighter. Freighter, move on over there. He doesn't really have many sensors. Not many sensors on that freighter, but I need every ship I can to explore for me, though, and just kind of let me know what's going on. Okay, here on Eden, we can do just go ahead and work on the Star Eagle for me. It's going to take you a while, but that's fine. Got a constructor there. I want to do with this constructor. I really need to build. We've got two planets over here that we can get some benefits from it or from. Yeah, just get on closer to them. We'll let them share. We'll let them share a, a space station. Which reminds me, let me check and see if I can upgrade anything on this economy station. I can. We can do an orbital shopping center, which will help our income. And we can do a starbase factory, which will improve the production on all of these planets. And let's go ahead and give this thing some defenses and uh, and stuff here so it can defend itself against attack okay that's going to buff up earth and our other planets there as well and i don't need to forget about mars here i really don't need to forget about mars i don't think anybody's going to try to colonize that though i hope they don't If I mess around and let somebody colonize Mars, then I lose. <laughs> okay, so our Chinese guys here. What can I get them to work on? Not much I can do here. I could work on another explorer for me. Okay, work on that. That's about all you can afford to do right now. That's about all you can afford to do. We have a star eagle here. I'm going to base you on at Earth, just so I'll have something at the home. In the home solar system, at least one ship with weapons. To help defend Earth. That's not much. But at least it's something. At least it's something. Okay, he's just discovered a, a low quality planet down here. That's a class 5 barely habitable planet. The draft will probably get that. on up there and investigate that please okay that colony ship is almost there he's about to take that planet there
Yeah, I want you to cancel your surveying for a minute and go out there. Oh, you can't get out that far, can you? All right, go. Uh, yeah, just keep surveying. Ah, what what have we got here? We've got some Promethean down there, but it is in their space. They're not going to like me mining that. They're not going to like me mining that if it's in their space. And it is in their space. All right. We'll just move this guy right over here between these two planets. Yeah. And they're going to share his manufacturing capabilities. You've come to us in conversation. Good, we like this. Okay. Very good, very good. I'm trying to make friends here. That's all we're trying to do. We're just trying to be friendly and make friends. Let's go ahead and create... Con Let's make an economy starbase here, a starbase market, an orbital shopping center, and a starbase factory. It's gonna cost me a hundred. I'm not ready to spend any money on this one yet. It's already it, it will buff them up a little bit, so that's gonna help. All right. Well, we're starting to get hemmed in here a little bit. We're hemmed in on the east by the by the draft. Uh, and we're they're starting to hem us in on the south. We're still maybe able to expand a little bit over here to the west, and we've still got a few more resource exotic resources that we can go mine. We can get to them before anybody else does, and we've got some colony ships on on the way to colonize these good planets over here. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. I've I've played for about an hour and a half. So that kind of gets us off to a start. We've got a lot of extreme planets that we need to colonize once we get the technology available to colonize them. We can't colonize them yet. I may be able to colonize that one. It's a class 8. We'll have to see. Alright, but I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here. Get this uploaded to YouTube. And I appreciate anybody and everybody hanging out with me. And uh, if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel yet, please check out MechaWatt on YouTube. This will be an ongoing series there. And I hope everybody has a, has a good evening. And I'll see you next time.